Hey guys, it's Jovi and welcome back to my channel. So listen, I want to talk to y'all about something important, something very serious, okay? Listen, them dating sites is dubbed. All right, look, I want to talk to you about this girl who was recently kidnapped. Yo. They kidnapped this girl. Well, not they, this man kidnapped this girl. It was a bumble date going completely fucking wrong. I'm not even going to drop the intro. At this point, I just want to get to the story. So this girl in Texas, right? Texas man who met woman woman on Bumble kidnapped and tortured her for five days, authorities said. Listen, this is the scariest thing ever, okay? Oh, so we're going to read a little bit of this story. We're going to have a little bit of a conversation because we need to know how to keep ourselves safe, especially in a world where this is not a Black couple, but this shit is happening every day, especially to us black women. Okay. Um, they were young. Okay. So a Texas man who met a woman on a dating app Bumble on Christmas Eve. Okay. Listen, I get it. You thought you was going to go hook up with some, I don't know what the fuck. Okay. Um, kidnapped beat and tortured her for five days after she denied his sexual advances. Look, a lot of these men, I keep telling you, especially these young ones, okay, a lot of these men don't know how to deal, don't know how to deal with rejection. I call it the video game era. You know, I would call it the... I would call it the... um social media era but in my opinion this goes even further back until you know the video game era right people don't these men these little boys stop going outside stop knowing how to interact with women right they don't know even how to communicate that's why a lot of them say they don't even know how to approach women you know it's because they did not learn those sort of soft skills these are soft skills. That's why a lot of them can't even hold a job down because they don't have the mental capacity or they just didn't learn these things. You have to be around people to learn these things, right? And a lot of them stuck in a house, stayed up in a house in their mama's basement from they were five years old playing video games, went to school, came back, don't know how to deal with anybody. Most of their friends are, are, are people from across the freaking country that they play video games with. Listen. So <clears throat> his name is Zachary Kent Mills. He's 21. Okay, listen. Um, was arrested and charged with felony aggregated kidnapping after the woman on Thursday escaped his apartment. She escaped. He had her locked there Christmas and everything, y'all. She missed Christmas with her family. That's how you know they knew something was wrong. She was trying to go out on a little something, something, something. Listen, sometimes you just need to go buy you a rose and call it a day. Could I just say that? Sometimes just buy you a roll, sis, and call it a day. Because mm, she was young. She young and she ain't got the sense God gave a child. Okay. <clears throat> so she finally escaped his apartment, okay, on Thursday. Where she, where she endured days of Mills punching her, hitting her with a screwdriver and starving her, according to allegations. Okay, you know, I'm going to say this. They didn't write this, but we just know it is what it is, that he took it. My opinion is he took it. You know what he took. Okay, Mills kidnapped the woman I only identified as JW on December 24th after he picked her up and took her to his apartment. Girls girls especially girls like i live in new york city i don't drive but like you meet a nigga somewhere you don't let him pick you up and again another thing this is me and my grown ass friends still do this so in case you don't know i'm gonna put you on to game if you meet in a man i don't give a fuck somebody needs to know your friend, somebody, and you take a picture of his license plate. This is what you do. You take a picture of his license plate and you let him see you take a picture of his license plate. And you and you have that designated friend or person that you're going to send it to. Now, that person ain't going to call you back because they already know the vibes because they do it to you, right? They, you know, they're not going to call you back or anything. But if anything was to go awry, somebody needs to know where you are. Okay, I just saw some horrible shit this morning about this girl who was kidnapped in 1999. And 
Well, I don't. We don't know what happened to her in 1999. She hear from Brooklyn, New York. She completely disappeared, bro. That was like 20 something years ago. Completely disappeared. No one knew who she was even going to meet. Okay, they know, but they didn't know because she didn't tell nobody. I understand we want to keep things close to our chest, but they have to be somebody. Your best friend, your cousin, your somebody needs to know where the fuck you are. Okay somebody and that person that you going and meet needs to know that somebody knows where the fuck you are don't act like oh you know i just ran out now i ain't telling nobody because i ain't want people to think you know think i was doing this all you telling them is that they are, can do whatever they want for you to you because nobody knows where you are if that girl wasn't able to escape you know he would have finally come to the conclusion that he would have had to get rid of her y'all know what i mean okay listen um, he took the woman identified as JW after he picked her up and took her to his apartment. Girls, at least you could let a nigga take you on a date. Then when you, this is what I'm telling you. Then when you on a date, you can see, oh, he a little weird. Oh, he a little awkward. Oh, he a little weird. Okay. Shit. And, and drive yourself. Drive yourself. Uber yourself. Drive yourself. And again, and if he is going to pick you up, make sure you take them pictures and you send them pictures in front of his face. And you say, yeah, I send it to my friend just in case you're crazy. <laughs> if he don't like that, if he have an issue with that, I've done that so many times. Me and my friends have done that throughout the years. And if a man has an issue with that, that's your cue to get the hell up out the car. That's your cue to get the hell up out the car and get out of Dodge. All right? Because he ain't have nothing good for you planned. Anyway, <clears throat> the two had began a romantic relationship after they met on a dating app. According to a probable cause statement at Mills' apartment, he promptly tried um, to have sex with the woman who denied his, his advances, court records say. He immediately being, began to fidget. So she said no, and he whopped up. Basically, this is what happened. Okay? Don't be going to no nigga house if you want. Listen. Listen. Just don't. Just don't. No. Even if he, no, we just going to chill believe no our self-protective mechanism need to be a lot stronger ladies i'm just oh my god i'm sick um okay um he uh tch -tch. women told authorities that mill tried to hit her with a closed fist he would grab a screwdriver and would strike her with the handle oh my god he was gonna kill her during her five-day captivity, Mills did not provide her with any food or water, okay? He was trying to starve her to death. He was trying to kill her. He was going to kill her. He was going to kill her, okay? Say what you want. He was going to kill her. Um, she was able to escape from the apartment when he left to visit his father. When a woman was interviewed by authorities, her injuries included severe bruising to both eyes, bite marks, and cuts to both her throat and nose. Her throat, y'all. To most of her body, Okay. Other court records uh, apprehended on Friday and booked on Sundays. He was released on, they released him on $50,000 bond. Wow. Mill's attorney um, said he, because he ain't have no criminal record and he's not a flight risk. Um, so he, they gave him a GPS monitor and stuff. Listen, listen, this shit don't even matter no more. Listen. I just need us as women to be more cautious of our safety and our security. Okay. Life is short and hell is hot. And a lot of these men out here just, just, they not, they, they just don't. A lot of them don't even, can't even, they don't even know. They don't, especially on these dating sites. Okay. That's why I told y'all, I don't even be on the dating sites no more. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. The, the level of man on these dating sites are in the fucking trash okay and i said what i said and i'm done and as always i hope you live your life like it's golden don't let the shit scare you to live your life but still be aware be proactive and listen to your listen to that little voice in the back of your head when that bitch be screaming okay she could save your life <laughs>